In the early 1960s, the Soviet firearms designer German A. Korobov was tasked with developing a new type of multi-barrel rifle. In fact, at that time, the Soviet military did not have a practical need for this type of firearm and still relied mainly on conventional rifles. However, the intelligence department learned that the beautiful country, referring to the United States, was developing a multi-barrel assault rifle, and the Soviet Union could not tolerate being surpassed by its adversary. The result of Korobov's development was the TKB-059 three-barrel, stockless assault rifle. This rifle is truly unique in the history of firearms, with its distinctive design and performance leaving a deep impression. From the original intention of the design, it should have met the initial requirements. The TKB-059 is somewhat like three rifles combined side by side. It fires 7.62 by 39 mm ammunition, with three barrels installed side by side. Each barrel has its own feeding, firing, locking, and ejection mechanisms. It uses a gas-operated automatic principle, with the gas tube installed underneath. The gases expelled from the three barrels merge together to drive the piston's movement. Although the piston's force is enhanced, it also needs to drive three sets of heavier bolt carriers in the rear, so it does not have a very high rate of fire. This rifle has a stockless design, and its feeding device is a three-row large magazine, which is essentially equivalent to combining three conventional magazines together, with a total capacity of 90 rounds. Each row corresponds to its respective barrel, and during operation, each barrel fires independently, but the bolt carriers are linked side by side, so the three barrels actually fire simultaneously. One problem with side-by-side -side barrels is how to eject the spent casings. Neither the side nor the top is suitable, so the TKB-059 chose to eject the casings from the bottom, with the ejection port located in front of the magazine well. The barrels are wrapped in a jacket with reinforcing rib-like structures. This jacket is made by stamping and allows for better grip for the shooter. The rifle's mechanical sights are also quite special. Its wide body cannot use conventional sights, so the sight baseline is raised, and it uses a blade-shaped front sight and a notch-type rear sight. The maximum range on the sight scale is 1000 meters. The TKB-059 has a high theoretical rate of fire, between 1400 and 1800 rounds per minute, but when divided among the individual barrels, it is not considered high. Its effective range is 600 meters. The three barrels mean three times the recoil, which most people cannot handle. Therefore, the TKB-059 does not have full automatic firing capability. It uses a mode similar to burst fire, with each trigger pull completing five rounds, for a total of 15 rounds fired. As long as the shooter aims accurately, they can hit the target multiple times in an instant, similar to close-range shotgun hits, but with even greater penetration power. The rifle performed well in testing, as long as the soldier had a normal physique and received training, they could fully withstand the recoil and achieve high shooting accuracy. However, it also has its drawbacks. The rifle is empty weight is 4.5 kilograms, and the three barrels make magazine replenishment and carrying cumbersome. Just imagine how inconvenient it would be to use such a large magazine compared to a regular one, and the rate of ammunition consumption would also increase exponentially. It is believed that no normal person would officially equip the TKB-059 in a conventional military unit. It is too different from the existing equipment system, and compared to the firepower advantage brought by the firearm, it brings much more trouble. Therefore, only prototype rifles were built.